So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the Odoo experience so far. My name is Nathan. I'm a product owner here at Odoo. And I'm here to show you how our V12 can help you digitalize your accounting more efficiently. So usually at Odoo, we spend our time developing features to save you time. The idea of an ERP or like a system like Odoo is to make your business flow as smooth as possible, as fast as possible, for you to spend more time on actions, activity that actually add value to your business, right? One of the biggest challenges um, when managing an ERP, if your accounting is in integrated to it, is the inputting the import of transactional data, like vendor bills, for instance, right? So even if your all database is set up, it's still a, sometimes a pain to import all the information you receive from your supplier through PDFs, paper, invoices, and add them to the system. Just, just picture yourself. You're working in a company, it's a rather small company, and then you receive a vendor bill through the post from one of your suppliers. You take the envelope and you head to the second floor to give it to James, because James needs to take the paper out, read through it, go to Odoo Accounting and start putting his own vendor bill. That can take a bit of time, especially if he has to scan the same invoice afterwards to link the scanned version to the, um, to the record in Odoo for traceability, right? The idea here of the features we developed and what I'm going to show you now is it's actually two ways we can help James save time. So he can spend more time on, well, financial reporting, stuff that actually adds value instead of just inputting data in the system. The first mean, the first way, is called Factor X. So this is a new format that came out last year, so it's quite new. And it's a hybrid invoice, or it's an e-invoice if you want. And the idea is, is the following. So usually when you think about an invoice, if you receive it through, the, through email, right, it's a PDF file. Try to imagine a PDF file with a hidden layer in it. So you have your regular PDF file, the one you see on the left, the one that the human can read, the one that you see when you receive the file. But then behind it, embedded in the same file, you have an XML version of the same data. So you have the invoice data in paper for the human, and then for the system, for the IT machine that needs to read through it and import it to the system, you have the XML version of it in structured way to present the data. So basically, if you upload such a file in Odoo, what happens? Is it fine? <laughs> what happens is that um, you will see the PDF, but Odoo will be seeing the XML. So the invoice will be created smoothly. All the information will be in the right place, assuming obviously that your supplier uses this format. We are compatible with import and export, meaning that now, if you print a PDF from Odoo, it will be a factor X, meaning that if you send this invoice to another Odoo database, well the whole thing will be smooth and the, um, the invoice generated in the other database will be clean and ready to go. The advantages are quite obvious. The first one being that since it's an e-invoice, the transfer is faster. You don't have to go through the post or deal with paper. I mean, who's, who uses paper in 2018 anyway, right? Now, the data is integrated. It's clean, structured in the XML file, so the processing is way faster. And then James, he doesn't have to spend time processing it. So the fact that it's Automatize, um, the automatization, sorry, reduce drastically the processing cost. The second way we can help James in putting all this data is, that, that's the AI part of the, of the presentation, is the in, our invoice data extraction. It uses two things, I mean, and a bit of magic, as you can see. First uses the OCR, which, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, without going too much to the details. It's basically um, an algorithm that's going to read through a scanned invoice, an image, a JPEG, a PDF, and we'll pass the text, meaning that it will translate what it sees in the image into actual string of characters for the system to be processed. Then once this is done, then our Odoo database, I mean, the AI we, we put in place, our server, will be able to analyze information and be able to come up to, to recognize where the relevant data is in this image, is in, in scanned PDF. Now let's take an example, which is always more obvious, right? Let's say you receive this vendor bill from Azure Interior. Now, just for the example, we're just going to stick with two information we want to get into this image, into this scanned version, and into this PDF, which are the invoice dates and the total of the invoice. What's going to happen is that we're going to submit this to our system. OCR is going to work its magic. It's going to translate this image into text that Odoo can read. And then afterwards, it's going to submit it to our server. And what's going to happen is that we're going to identify the dates and the amounts. So we have two dates in this case, the payment terms one, the invoice date one, the right one, and then the different amounts that you found on the, on the invoice. 
And obviously, it needs to figure out which date is the correct one, which one is the invoice date, which total is the, which the amount is the total of the invoice. It's going to find those based on different, different criteria. First one being the surroundings. If the system sees that you have a label saying invoice date dot dot, it's going to expect that what's following will be an invoice date. Same goes for the total. If it sees total dot dot or total close to one of the, the amounts you found, it's going to expect this one to be the amount, the, the total. Uh, there's also the position. Usually the invoice date, the, the dates are on top, and the um, so total is on the bottom right, 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 quite often. But that's all nice, but what's really magic in this is the machine learning we put into it, and that's the, the one you see underlined. Basically, what's going to happen is that at some point, and since the system is quite new, he may, he may think that the invoice, the data at the bottom, to give the same example, is the right one, and it would be wrong. So we're just going to say, well, hey, this is the right one. This is the correct one. We're going to give feedback as users to, us, to the server we put in place. So this is the machine learning part. This is the AI part. Users are going to correct to make sure to correct what the our system is going to guess to make sure everything is smooth, and it's going to learn from this. And the more people use it, the more feedback we give, the more accurate it will be. And this, this server is shared for everyone, so it's like we're all participating in the into the training of this AI, right? Into the training of the machine learning we put in place. But now let's see exactly what you can do with this. This was a technique. This was the process we put in place. Now, there's a different flows you can use, and I'm just going to try to represent this in a rather sm uh, simple diagram, I hope. So just picture it like this. You have two environments, let's say. On the left side, you have everything that's not Odoo related in my example. So in this case, you have the paper bills that you need to, be to scan to submit to the system. You have the inbox, where you can receive the invoices through PDF by your suppliers, which is quite common nowadays. And then you have the factor X which we introduced earlier, which is this file we have that has the data, the data already structured, like hidden behind the PDF, right? On the right, you have the AI I introduced you to. You have the document app. I hope you went to see the, the talk about it. This is one of your brand new apps, where you can already have some, some PDF invoice loaded and ready to be turned into, uh, into vendor bills. And then in the end, you have the, the end point of our journey is the accounting app. So what could happen, for instance, is that, I mean, if we take the example from James, he takes the paper invoices, go to the scanner, he puts it in, and like most scanners have, you have the um, scan to email option. So the media objects in Odoo have an alias, an email you can send stuff to, and it creates records into the system. So if you go to your scanner, you put your inv paper invoice, you scan it and send it to vendor-bill at mydatabase.odoo.com, then it's going to go to accounting, but first pass through the AI that you enabled, the magic is going to work, and then it's going to create the invoice into your accounting. Another option would be for the invoices you received in PDF to simply forward it to the same address. So it's even simpler than the first one. If I have um, my PDFs already loaded into the document uh, system of my Odoo database, I can simply use an action to generate the bill from the PDF itself. That's what I'm going to show you in a bit in the demonstration. And like, finally, the one I told you about earlier is going to go straight, factor X is going to go straight to accounting since the data is already processed. We already know which field is which, so we don't need to go through the AI. In all those cases, this is what you should expect. You should expect on one side the Odoo invoice, on the other one the, paper in the PDF invoice, so you can actually check if everything is fine as well. But now it's time for the moment you we're all waiting for, the demonstration, right? So this is a quite simple database. I have document app, the accounting one. In the document app, I, so I enabled, obviously, the invoice data extraction uh, option that I introduced. So first we go to, in finance folder, I already have my, the invoice open value, one of my suppliers sent me. So I can just check it and then create a vendor bill from it. So now what's happening is that I submitted this PDF to the system. So what's happening, like the magic is working. The PDF is being read. We're translating image into text, into string of characters. Then now this, th those string of characters are being processed. It is identifying which, where are the amounts, the dates, and then giving a probability to each of those options and figure out the best one. So I can update the status, see exactly what it came up with. And as you can see, most of the data is filled in into the invoice. Just to show you exactly how you can teach the system, I'm going to show you a bit the different option you had when you had to choose the different, option, the, the, the different values. For instance, if I take the um, 
vendor build, for instance, the vendor reference, for instance, where you see like he identify all those pieces as possible, potential um, vendor references, but he picked the one on the top right because it says invoice number before it. So as I said, surroundings matter, labels matter. Okay, but if for some reason, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, not to mess up the whole thing. But for some reason, if that wasn't the invoice number, I could have said, well, this is the one, and I just click it, and this gives feedback to the server, and then the server learns from it. And if I receive another PDF invoice from Open Value, or if, if any other people using the system receive a PDF from Open Value, then this feedback I gave is gonna matter. The system is gonna learn, and the more we use it, the more it's gonna be accurate. So going back to my slides, the, the main conclusion in this, if we go back to the example I gave with James at the beginning, is that he won't spend his whole Friday doing it. I mean, if you have 20 invoices, it's fine. You can spend the afternoon doing this, even if it's not that entertaining. But if you reach 200, well, he's gonna spend his whole Friday doing it. He's gonna go back home late, and he won't be able to work on meaningful stuff. It's gonna be boring for him as well. So. This automatizes all those processes, and this is really the added value. Now, we have to keep in mind, as I told you, that there are different criteria used by the system. There are the surroundings, positions, and many other ones. I'm not gonna go into the details uh, right now, but the learning part is the, that's the AI, the machine learning. So right now, it's new. We, ju we, we just came up with this, so it's new. Now, we need to use it, right? So the system is, is free for now, because we need to use it, we need to teach the system, we need to to feed him with feedback so it's more and more accurate over the users. And that was the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs> so it was quite straightforward. I didn't want to go too much into details, but now I'm open, obviously, for all the questions you may have. Can you just turn on the light a bit? Because I can't see, can't see the room that well. The mic, I think, is over there. Yeah, let's go. Can you 